G'day guys, welcome back to Hearts of Iron. This is part four of our German series and we have a lot to organize this episode to get ready for war with Poland, hopefully next episode. So the things we need to deal with, we need to get Panzer threes and fours into our army. We need to assign generals to all of our army. We need to obviously finish fortifying our borders if where we need to and need to organize military police for when we take Poland and stuff so we can occupy there straight away as well as deal with our air force. So we'll un unpause it. Probably just going to run this on three speed because there's a lot we need to organize. And we have, what is going on here? All right, these guys were just deployed. Why were you deployed, Mountain Division? Uh, I think I screwed up and deployed them accidentally. They weren't meant to deploy. Oh wait, no, we're training more Mountain Divisions for Romania, that's right. Alright, so those guys can just stay there, they'll be fine. First thing we're going to do is work on tanks. So, we need to get tanks into our armies as well as get more aircraft. So we need to work on our factories. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take 10 military factories away. I'm going to throw them some into making Panzer 3s. We don't have any army experience, so I can't really change the Panzer division templates. So we're going to throw 10 factories into making Panzer 3s. Then going to throw everything else we can into making fighters. We should be okay on oil and we should be able to catch up. I'm building synthetic refineries. And we're trying to catch up on artillery, but we need more tungsten. Okay. Right, improved artillery 2 is also done. I'm not going to upgrade the artillery just yet because I, it's going to just use more resources, which I don't have. So... We're just going to improve the stats of them because these stats should still apply to the first artillery. Artillery one. All right, and no template. Oh yeah, we don't have a template for Panzer threes, but we need to stockpile them a little bit. Looks like I need more tungsten. We're going to have to trade for that. I need 18. We can trade with Sweden. What is this? Yeah, we trade for Sweden for 24. Yeah, we still need two, but that's okay. We can make do with that. We're going to invade Sweden and take their resources. We'll also get some resources when we attack Poland. Alright, so that helps with our medium tanks. They're all going to go into storage for a minute. As for my generals, well, we need to organize them. So, we have some good generals for our larger divisions. This guy is a pretty, should be just a standard general, aren't you? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Yeah, you're just a level three. Well, no, we don't need you there. Krula does not need to be with that army. Because it's only a 20 stack, I can just use a standard general. Uh, you're all armored generals. You're an armored general. Out of supply. You're going to be good for the Russian front. Uh, who, what about you? Armor speed. Armor speed. Uh, okay. Well, we're going to use this guy because he's at level 4. For the units that are on the Belgian border... Again, we'll just find someone who's a high level. Uh, you'll do. There's 10 on the Luxembourg border. Uh, you'll do. Then we have all the divisions over here that need them as well. And because there are only 20 divisions, again, we can just use whoever. It just helps their attack and defense, basically, having a general. Oh, okay. What happened with Yugoslavia? Oh, we're going to take all of Yugoslavia. Oh, this is going to be glorious. Well, tension is going to go up. That's okay. That's pretty glorious. Alright, we'll look at that in a minute. I'm just going to finish doing my generals. Otherwise, I'm going to forget. Alfred, you're... Uh, yeah, you'll do. These are all infantry divisions, so it's fine. Albert you look, you're a Luftwaffe guy, aren't you? Albert Kesling, whatever the hell you were called. That is a Luftwaffe guy. Uh, do we have any standard generals left? Yes. Good. Now, you're training. You're done, so you can stop. You're done. You can stop training. That means we have very good divisions for Poland. Poland's going to get destroyed. Uh, I'm just going to check. I'm only on one speed now, so I'm just going to check the training for these guys. You're trained. You're trained. You need to train. Okay. Our next national idea... We could... What is the 
Fate of Greece. Don't tell me I can get Greece as well. Nah, I think we've done enough. We've got enough free shit. So, we're going to do Army Innovations 2, and we're just going to work our way down to an extra research slot, pretty much. This will help with our tank research as well. I've still got no template, which is fine. Okay, back up to three. Now, we have all this, which is great for me. Bulgaria is going to be... I should be able to get them on side. And then that allows us to attack Romania from two different sides as well. Uh, we just hope that they don't join the Allies anytime soon. They're democratic. Shit. I need to get units on Denmark's border. I need a lot more units. We'll get there. So, uh, I'm going to rush these guys as well. Oh, shit. I can't rush that unit. Damn it. Let me... Currently at 16%. Your army... How much experience do you need for deployment? Oh, 20%. Okay, well, hopefully the hurry's up. Just so I can throw them on the border of Luxembourg and train them to make them elite soldiers. We're at November, so we don't have long. Military police is our next thing we need to look at. So let's edit the cav divisions. Now, I'm going to make these very basic. I'm just going to give them a military police unit, which it should help with the rebellions. And we're not going to modify anything else. I could probably take away the recon company, which means that won't cost me anything, will it? Yeah, I can add the military police for free if I take away the recon. And apparently it's still going to cost me 10. Which it did, even though it was, wasn't meant to. I don't know. Anyway, we need to train some of them now. So, one, two, three, four, five. Hopefully, because they're a better unit, we're not going to need a lot of them. And we're just going to call them MPs. Alright. Set their deployment area for Bohemia. All right. We've got some more Panzer Divisions we can deploy. They're pretty much supplied, so yeah, let's deploy them. That gives me 12 now. And we're going to bring them over because we need to start drawing our orders. Now, their main goal was to get to Warsaw. And we can go through the south or we can go through the north. I think we're probably going to be better to break through the south here. So we're just going to give them one single deployment area. And then they can go through. Alright, how are we looking for factories and stuff? I'm building some defences on my border. I mean, these build really quickly, so that's not an issue. After that, we need more military factories. Uh, is there any way we can build a group of them? We can build three, two there. Build some there. And build some there. So that's another uh, nine. And then... It's kind of where shit gets a bit rushed. I'm catching up on light tanks. How many... Meet Panzer threes do we have so far? We've got 37. So we're probably going to be pretty close to the numbers. They had... I'm not going to have Panzer fours in time. But they had about 300 Panzer threes and fours in total. So we're going to be pretty close. They're not going to be in the army though when we attack. There's no point. Alright. Now, I need manpower. I don't have any manpower. I need political power. So I probably shouldn't have done that national idea. I should have just left it. Then I would have got more political power coming in. But that's okay. Alright. Everything's good for a minute. What we're going to do is start drawing our battle plan. Um, what is this? I don't know what this division assignment mode crap is. I think that's new. We've got an edit mode. But we're just going to keep it simple and draw an offensive line. So they break through like so. And then once they've broken through there, we're just going to send them straight to Warsaw so they've got two orders they'll do the first one then they'll ask for permission for the second one now apart from that let's go through the rest and draw their orders we need to get Dengzi up here so we're just going to push for that we don't want to push past the rivers though because then we take a penalty so that'll secure that capital you guys, we're just going to push forward to the river. So you can do this. Looks like the river stops about there. Alright, and then we'll push around behind. After that, I mean, they might have to cross the river. It's not going to be good, but they might have to. We 
have... Oh, wait. No, their border... Wow, they're very focused. Their border is not that long. Their border is about that long. We have the these guys in the middle. So their offensive line, they're just going to move with the panzers. They can move to there. And then we're going to come around behind. Hopefully, like so. I don't know if this is going to work properly, but it might. Kind of like that. So they'll move to there and then move around. In the south, we are just going to push for the river. Oh, wait, 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 no, I'm drawing the wrong thing. What am I drawing? No, 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 no. Radios are done for research. Uh, delete that, delete that line, delete that line. Okay. All right, so you have your orders. Your orders for the guys in the south here. We will push a little bit because I just want to tie up resources. So we're just going to push forward like so. Actually, there's a river there. So kind of like that. Just to tie up resources. All right. Research. What are we doing? What was finished? Oh, we're doing radar. So let's do it. Now. So that should be pretty successful. Oh, yeah, I've got these guys in the north as well. Again, we're just going to push forward just to tie up resources. Going to try not to cross any rivers. And something like that. All right. Now, next thing we need to do is deploy our Air Force. So we have 250 190s. So we're going to send 200 up over Western Poland. But I can't deploy them because I don't have manpower. So we need to wait for the manpower. So I'm just going to throw 200 over Poland. And then I'll throw the rest pretty much over the Baltic Sea. Army Innovations is done. So let's do Air Innovations now. We can invite a faction. We can invite Bulgaria. Uh, no. Well, I kind of want to, but... I really want them on side. Yeah, let's invite Bulgaria. They might help us. And we have another nine infantry divisions here. Shit, I never deployed that tenth. Ouch, that hurts. Alright. Now, who's training? You guys over in the east are training. You're, you still need time. You are fully trained. But I've got this extra ten units that need to come in. So we'll train them separately. And then we'll throw them in. How's the Maginot line looking? All right, I'm gonna throw these five in. It's gonna train them first. I'm gonna throw the five mountain divisions in there as well. And that'll give me a total of 15 mountain divisions. Now we need to strengthen the mountain divisions as well because they don't even have artillery. And we've nearly got enough military uh, political power. We have a lot of troops, but they're spread out quite a lot. We're at 49 political power. Hurry up. Come on, come on, come on. Where are we at? We're at limited conscription. Let's do extensive conscription. There we go. That's another 2 million manpower, which is great. And we're at 60 army experience. So we're going to start changing some templates. First thing we're going to do is make our mountain divisions better because they're very under-equipped. I'm just going to add another three regiments, or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to give them a recon company and give them a support artillery. I'd like to give them an artillery battalion, but I mean, there's no reason I couldn't. It's actually cheaper to give them a battalion than a support battalion. So there's 20, I think there's 36 guns instead of 24, and that's 30 army experience right there. All right, but that'll make them a lot better. And that should improve our odds on this line. Yeah, you can see now the odds are great. Oh no, now they're gone. The enemy is... How many divisions does France have there? 49 divisions that I can see. They won't break that though. Plus it's still getting reinforced. So everyone's training. I've now got the manpower I need to deploy my air force. So we're going to deploy 200 109s and send them over Western Poland. We will get bombed a little bit. There's nothing I can really do about it. Okay, we're going to set them to S priority. So once the war kicks off, 
they will deploy and I don't need to protect my units over Eastern Poland because I basically have no units over Eastern Poland. Next thing we're going to do is throw up all the Stukas we can. And where are my Stukas? Where are they? Down here. We have 157. And we also have some extra ones. Um, they're just close air support. So we got them from somewhere. Going to throw them over here. Uh, make sure they're over Western Poland. They're just going to bomb the troops. And then next thing we're going to do is all the bombers we can get. Alright, and that's all the bombers. 509. Not bad. Deploy them as well. They're doing close air support. We're not going to do strategic bombing because if I strategic bomb them, then I have to repair everything that I bombed. Why is that line like that? Why is there a second attack line? That's not meant to be there. Get rid of that line. Get rid of that order. Oh, that's all one order. What the hell? Let's redraw this. And we just, we'll go to there. We won't try and do that. Is that better? Yep. All right, research it back up. Let's go with pr increased production, 15%. How's everyone looking? Still training, still training. Uh, who, you're nearly done training, good stuff. How are we looking for our tanks? We've got 170 Panzer threes, catching up on light tanks still, which is great. Uh, my Panzer divisions are down here. So everyone should have great organization now. Yeah. And you can see the odds, it's 100, pretty much 80% in our favor. Awesome. Yeah, what else do we need to do? How's the military police looking? All right. I'm not going to deploy them until I need to because I don't want to waste time training them. So I'm just going to add an extra five to training. I've got all the equipment I need. Mountain divisions, I'm still going to make them because I'm going to need them. Infantry divisions are fine. And I can probably... Wait, why can't I deploy these? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, they're not trained enough yet. Where are they at? They're at 15% trained. Good. I'll probably tr uh, send these guys early. None of the my armor divisions are trained, which is horrible, but it'll be okay. Okay, let's turn it up. We're up to March 1939, so we've got a couple of months to go. And yeah, we're kind of running out of time. I need to get infantry down here in case someone attacks me. Pretty sure Hungary won't. I think we should be able to get an alliance with Italy in time. Can't even get a non-aggression with them. But I mean, we should be fine. It's Italy and it's historically focused campaign. We should be okay. Right, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna deploy this infantry unit early and I'm gonna send them up to Denmark. So just train them just on the border, just in case Denmark decides to attack. It'll just buy me a little bit of time. Now they need to be, everyone needs to be color coded still. Where are you? Oh, you're going to join that, so you don't need to be color coded. Uh, you are probably going to have to be super light green because you're in the north. Um, you need a general, of course, because it just makes you better. Uh, we're kind of running out of generals. They're all armored generals now. Oh, this guy's winter attrition and attack. He's really good for the Russian front. Uh, we'll have to use you, I guess. Research. Is done. We're gonna do encryption, decryption shit. Okay, we've got some more heavy cruisers done. Get them into the navy. Basically, I'm just gonna throw all the navy together into one group. It'll be safer that way. None of our convoys should be raided. We shouldn't even be using convoys at the moment. Because we don't have any troops stationed anywhere. So we have 53 for our Navy. Again, I'm going to have to use some of my Air Force to protect them. So we're just going to throw up. Let's do that. So we're going to throw up 200 HE-51s and 100 109s. Now, what they'll do, they'll throw the best fighters up. So they'll just keep replacing the uh, 51s with 109s. Set them to deploy. 300 should be enough to deter my enemies. We're going to throw these guys in patrol. 
into the Baltics. They should be okay there. What else we got going on? Still training. Crank up the speed again. Right. I think we're nearly ready to go. What else do we have to look at? Air Force. Well, we're still trying to make planes. Probably didn't get enough planes. I still need more resources. Oh, well. I've got 15 factories doing 109s now. I need tungsten and I need rubber and stuff. Alright. And how are we going with artillery? How much do we have in storage? I've got 600 pieces of artillery in storage. That's good. And free military factories. So what we're going to focus on is... Um, I'd like to do Stukas, but I don't have the oil. And it's... I don't like trading. I mean, I know it's part of the game, but I don't like doing it. I'm going to just start stockpiling some more infantry equipment. How many Panzers do we have? 250. Good. And it's 60 per... Uh, battalion or regiment. So that, uh, how many, of, I've got 12 divisions. So if I add just one unit of Panzer threes to each of them, uh, it's gonna be, I need at least 600. Uh, I think it's 720 that I need in total. So that's not gonna happen right now. I can deploy these guys early, so we're gonna do that and throw them on with Rommel. He now has 15 divisions. They're gonna steamroll through Poland. Air Innovations is done. That gave me some air experience. We need to do tactical or strategic. Long term, I'd rather use tactical bombers than strategic, but it would be cool to try and strategic bomb Britain. But, well, it's not going to help. I don't think it's going to help my Stukas. So let's do, let's do strategic. It'll be fun. Alright, and Albania just surrendered, so Italy now owns Albania. Here we go, we're up to April, let's put it back on four speed. Alright, so my attack on Poland's done, my borders over here should be okay. How are we looking on the Siegfried line? Oh my god, we're still outnumbered so much. They have armoured divisions there as well. How are the defences going? All the defences have been built. So now we're just focusing on factories. Uh, we're gonna throw some more land forts in. Just gonna make them all level six. Okay, these 10 divisions, I'm gonna just throw in on the border of Luxembourg now. All right, and we'll just keep training them. Then the five divisions are still training. We have, I still need another 10 divisions for the north. And we're going to just start modifying my infantry divisions. Uh, that Russia just cancelled its non-aggression pact? Was that a thing? That never happened. Yeah, historical focus, my ass. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add a full battalion, uh, battery of artillery in. I'm going to take away the support artillery. And we're going to add a recon company. So that's 15. Ideally, I would love to add a second battalion of artillery. Or battery, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's 36 guns per one, but considering the amount of units that I've got, we'll just stick to doing one at the moment. So save that. And that should really strengthen our infantry. Let's have a look. Yeah, nice. now I need a, over a thousand artillery guns. So that was okay. But it should make all of our Units a lot better. You're still there. I hope Russia doesn't declare war on me anytime soon. That'd be an issue. Alright. Back up to full speed. Let's just deploy these infantry again. Throw them in Denmark. Okay. What I'm also going to do, this airfield here, any of my naval bombers, which I know I've got some, I'm just going to send them over the Baltics. Just in case they have a navy show up, it might help mine out. 
I'd like to get about 20 divisions in the south here, but we might not have enough time for that. Still got 1.3 million manpower to go. Uh, we need more infantry equipment. How are we going for 109s? We're making one a day, but I'm still low on resources. All right, let's get some more synthetic refineries going. I'm going to put two and I'm going to make them the most urgent things. So top of the list. Uh, that'll give me a five, another 10 oil and four rubber. At least when we attack Poland, I've got a little bit of oil. That's about it. Attack Amsterdam, uh, Netherlands, I get nothing. And now, if they capitulate, or if we attack them and they surrender, I don't think I'll get that land over in the, near the Philippines without having to send my troops there to capture it. Okay, we're up to May. We've got a couple more months to go. Yeah, what else can we do? God, I can't might just trade some factories. Let's trade with the United States because then when they declare war on us, it'll go. Three factories for the oil that I need. As for the rubber, I mean, UK can give us rubber for now until we go to war. Do that. Just so I can get some aircrafts and stuff built. Tungsten, well, I'm not super concerned about tungsten. Um, once we catch up on artillery guns, then we'll start making artillery too. But until then, we'll just stick with what we've got. Um, we can have a need a lot of support equipment now. Still need a lot more aircraft. How many are we up to? Um, we have no 109s in storage, but it doesn't. It'd be nice if it told me how many I have deployed. That's all right. We've got plus 15 military experience. There's nothing we really need to spend it on at the moment. Unless we want to start throwing Panzer 3s into our tank divisions. We've got 400. I should have enough by the time we go to war. So we can edit this. And it's going to tr just remove that, remove that, remove that, remove that. And then add medium tanks. And then I'll put the... Wait, 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 wait. Why can't I just... Oh, shit. I hate that. Um, edit division. I want to add medium tanks, but I need... Well, that's the wrong button. No, it wasn't wrong. What's this? Italy pursues closer... Yeah, we go. Now we've got an alliance with Italy. Um, like, I want to just put my medium tanks in order. So I've got lights, mediums, and heavies. Then I can do my other shit, but it doesn't like me doing that. Anyway, we're just going to add a medium tank division... So that'll be only 50 tanks actually. Okay, so it's not as bad. So do that and save it. All right. Now ha we have non-aggression with Italy. We have an alliance with Italy. Good stuff. Our next thing we're gonna do is Air Innovations 2. Do that. And as for research, we're going to do don't need radars. How are we going for our fighters? No, it's still a little bit too far ahead of time for that. Let's do infantry equipment too now. Right, and that just means I don't really need to secure Yugoslavia because Italy's got that shit. If Romania attacks me, they should help me out for a little while. Okay, you're still training. Um, how are we going? All right, you're trained, so you can stop exercising. You're very close to being trained. You're still exercising in the north. Mounts and divisions down here are about to be trained. Just check over here. Everyone out here is trained and ready to go. And I suppose I need to justify a war goal against these guys. I'll just do conquer that. Alright, that's underway. World tension's at 50%, so America shouldn't be able to join the war just yet. You trained, you're now trained. So I throw you on the Maginot line. I've got 40 divisions there and I'm still outnumbered. They have about 40 divisions as well. Why are the odds? Well, they're not too bad, but they're not too good. Let's keep reinforcing. Gonna make them all a bit stronger. All right, I'm gonna add some more anti-air. Gonna throw it over the 
Frankens, I guess. And do Hessian as well. And then we need to put the radars in. Which... Does that help the anti-air or does it help with what? Better chance of your planes engaging. I don't think it helps your anti-air. It'll be alright though. Alright, so as soon as the war kicks off, we'll stop everyone exercising because it's we're gonna need everything with to attack. Um, how are we looking with our tanks now? What am I looking for? What am I looking for? What am I looking for? Ah, this. Alright, so we need only 360 mediums, which is not bad. We've caught up on light tanks. Uh, I've got plenty of fighters in reserve, even though they're not the best fighters. I might just throw them over West Germany. So we'll just deploy them from here. We'll just send up whatever we can. 200 of those. And then just so it's a round number. And then it'll be 300. And they'll get upgraded to 109s as quick as possible. We have three military factories again. So let's focus on what do we need? Infantry equipment. We need 10,000. Yeah, so we're going to upgrade the, all those planes I just deployed. So that's happening right now. Stukas. Oh, I need to get to building Stukas at some stage. All right. Research. Keep improving. Oh, artillery is too far ahead of time now. Be nice to give anti tank guns to my infantry, but not right now. Panzers, how far are we ahead of time? Still a little bit ahead of time, but we get this bonus. Just going to leave that and save it. Can you improve our mountain divisions? Let's do that because we're using them. Let's make them a bit better. That August. When's this justification going to go through? Oh, oh god, it's going to finish in December. Okay, we're going to be a bit late going to war. But, yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. That is what it is. Uh, who are you? Oh, you were just deployed. Oh, well, you can sit there and do nothing. Have I got infantry? Yeah, I've got some more infantry that are nearly ready. Modify government's back up. What we're going to do is army... Division attack. There's one for attack and defense, isn't there? Yeah, so we're going to do this one instead. So 10% army attack and 15% defense. Because we're not going to be on the attack. We're not going to attack on the... Uh, what's it called? The Western Front at the moment. Alright. Let's keep going. I'm just going to put it on 5 speed for a second just to burn through some time. Decryption is done. Let's do encryption. It just shows you the units. Alright, so this attack should be fine. Uh, what else have we got to look at? I've got some mountain divisions. I've got some military police deploying. Now, I'm just going to make them their own army group. How do I add another army group? Do this. And we're just going to call this... Uh, we'll just leave it as Germany. And we'll just make them... Uh, pink. National focus, we're going to go with rocketry so we can get this extra research slot. And then that's fine. Advanced machining tools is done. One thing I'm going to do though, which I should have done, I don't think I did, was make these guys low priority for new equipment. So they'll basically get all the infantry one equipment while my infant, proper infantry get all the infantry two stuff. Got another 10 divisions we can deploy. Now, where are they going to go? There. I'm just going to leave them as Germany because I'm not going to use them yet. I'll just make them uh, blue, I guess. And they're just my reserves. Research-wise, we are going to do... 109 still just a fraction ahead of time. It's just done. Going to get started on the Tiger research just to get it out of the way. Then I can start stockpiling them. Low manpower. I've got a million manpower left. Alright, we're at the 8th of September, so the war should have started, but I screwed up. I should have had that written down as what I needed to do. And we're just going to keep going for another couple of minutes. 
so that we can get close to the start of war. But I think we're ready. So I'm not sure what else I could have really done. I'm sure there's lots of things I could have done differently. I'm a bit low on some supplies and stuff, but we will catch up. All that oil and stuff that we were importing will get cancelled. So I'm just going to build another synthetics and just put that as top priority. We're starting to do some extra reinforcements and then we're going to get some more Miller civilian factories built and add some more military factories. I mean, I think we're in a really good situation. If we can have a look at... Can I... Where is the button? I'm looking for a certain button. Details, yeah. So we have 255 divisions in total. We have 100 military factories. We have 116 civilian factories. Not bad. Not bad at all. Low manpower, that's fine. Okay. We've got some good allies. And we've got a surplus of 13 rubber now, so I can probably cancel that. And the oil, I'll leave going for a minute. All right. So in two more months and we're gonna to go to war with Poland. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna leave it here guys because we should be pretty close by the end of, by next episode to going to war within about five minutes. We'll kick off the war. In the meantime, let me know if there's anything I should have done because we're gonna have about a month to fix anything if you think I've missed something. And then, yeah, we'll begin. We're gonna invade Poland. Once that's secure, we'll start looking at attacking Romania and we'll start drawing up battle plans for um, Netherlands and stuff. I know I said that you need to have battle plans drawn up, but the thing is, it helps with organization. I really should just draw lines here. Um, but I'm not going to. It should be okay. One thing I might... I might actually draw one here, though. Just draw this. It'll just help their organization. Ah, oh, screw it. I said I should do it, so I should do it. Let's draw this. The only thing is that we're going to have to redraw these when we attack them. So there'll be a moment of you guys not having any organization, which kind of sucks. Well, they still have organization, just not as much. All right, so those lines are all drawn. That'll just help them. I've got some reserves. I've got some CAV um, divisions, which again can be used as reserves if need be. Got some mountain divisions sitting here that we're going to have to use against Romania when we need to. I've also got the tanks. I don't know how well tanks do against mountains. And terrain and stuff but I think we're in a very good situation you're trained so we can just stop training you you're trained I can stop training you what is this bar yeah so they're preparing to attack this is what we need yeah yeah the attack bonus all right you're good to go that means there's no one exercising at the moment and we have two months before we kick off the war so we'll pause it there we'll end it there Thank you for watching guys. Let me know what I should have done differently. If I'm sure there's something I should have done. And I'm sure there's something I've forgotten as well. But um, I'll catch you guys in the next episode.